wanting to visit this place ever since I was a kid looking at pictures of the amazing telescopes, finally had a chance to visit as an adult and as a geographer. Every bit as magnificent as I hoped and dreamed, the Green Bank Observatory, Green Bank, West Virginia, USA. These first two scenes were of the Jansky antenna. This is an exact replica of the antenna used by Carl Jansky in the early 1930s. With it, he found three sources of static that he determined would not interfere with the transatlantic telephone line proposed by his employer, Bell Laboratories. Two of the static interferences were the result of thunderstorm activity. The third he described as a steady his-type static of unknown origin. He later concluded that this static came from outside the solar system, from a natural source in the direction of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. He had unknowingly just laid the foundation for radio astronomy, astronomy, and indeed, for about 10 years, he was the only radio astronomer on the planet. You can take a self-guided walking tour any time before dark. I walked from the visitor center all the way to the largest of the telescopes there, which is about a mile and a half uh, each way, so three miles round trip. And you can see all sorts of things, including a scale model of the solar system, as I show here. This is one of the best scale models models I've ever seen because the scale is one foot to three billion feet. So it's quite quite amazingly large. Uh, It ends 1.5 miles away from its starting point with Pluto, now classified as a dwarf planet and kind of a joke. Each planet has a flag of that planet near its uh, obelisk. And the Pluto one is hanging at half mast <laughs> because it was it's no longer considered to be a an official planet, but rather a dwarf planet. As a major education facility, Green Bank has two short stay, term stay housing buildings, the residence hall and the bunkhouse. Other buildings on site help the observatory to be highly self-sufficient. And it's a magnificent place. So one of the things you can see there is a Reber telescope. A radio engineer in Chicago advocated uh, to universities and research facilities to build an instrument and investigate the source of Jansky's static. You can also see the 45-foot telescope retired from its use with the Green Bank Inferometer in 1988. It aided the discovery of Sagittarius A, the black hole in the center of our galaxy. Pretty amazing. Still in working order, but it awaits funding and a new project to continue its work in radio astronomy. You can also see the 20 meter telescope designed and built by the U.S. Naval Observatory. First purpose was to measure highly accurate time, continental drift, and the wobble of the Earth's rotation known as precession. Now it is part of Skynet Junior Junior Scholars, Scholars, a program for 4-H members, educators, and youth programs. Pretty darn cool. You can also see the 40-foot telescope there, built in 1962, the first fully automated telescope, originally used to determine if the intensity of radio sources varied with time, now used by teachers and students from across the country to detect neutral hydrogen in our home galaxy. There's also a 140-foot telescope completed in 1965, the largest equatorially mounted telescope in the world, and it includes the first detection of polyatomic particles or molecules in space. Pretty cool. Other notable accomplishments of this telescope include the first detection of Zeeman splitting of the 21-centimeter line of hydrogen in space and the first detection of h one absorption arising from within another galaxy. Pretty darn cool. That's the 140-foot telescope. You can also see the magnificent... uh, In 1988, there was a collapse of a 300-foot telescope, great loss to the uh, astronomical uh, community. Um, But there was a silver lining as the collapse resulted in an emergency appropriation of money obtained by Congress to replace the telescope and it was known as the Robert C. Byrd Green Bank Telescope after the West Virginia senator who advocated its importance to Congress. And it is a partial parabolic disk, 100 by 110 meters in diameter. The offset arm supports the sensitive receivers and doesn't block incoming radio waves like the center mount receivers of other dishes on site. The 2.8 three-acre surface can be actively adjusted in response to temperature and gravitational changes to maintain a perfect surface and provide optimal data. In its early days, the GBT worked with the Arecibo Observatory, featured in the James Bond film GoldenEye, to produce images of Venus's surface. 
In 2002, the GBT detected three new millisecond pulsars in a region 22,500 light years away from Earth, known as Messier 62. Pulsars are neutron stars spinning in space. Millisecond pulsars make their complete rotations in a few thousandths of a second, and their detection would be impossible with an optical telescope, hence this radio telescope array. In June 2016, the GBT was used to discover organic chiral molecule in interstellar space for the very first time. This is one of at least eight or nine active, humongous radio telescopes on the Green Bank site. Now, I was there, and I did not get any photos of the observatory because it was closed the day I was there, so it's not open every day, so basically check the website. But I just had to go there anyway. It was the only time I could make it, and I had a nice walk out to the largest of the telescopes. I also took some photos of the Earth, Sun, solar system model, which is very cool, as you saw, and of the Jansky antenna and the Reber telescope at the entrance. I did not get any close-ups of the telescopes along the route because you cannot take photographs uh, with anything that transmits, so including your cell phone. So you cannot have your phone on. So I adhered to the rules and did not take any photos, hence all of the ones that I have of the largest of the telescopes are from a mile and a half away. Also interesting to note, I had a sort of a 1980s moment leaving the site. I had no paper map, and there's no cell reception anywhere near the Green Bank Observatory for obvious reasons. They don't want cell phones interfering with their operations there. So in my case, it was fall, Earth. late What's afternoon. Okay, keep the sun at the right if you want to go south. Head to Charlotte without any map, paper, or digital. Fascinating 1980s moment. But again, the Green Bank Observatory, Green Bank, West Virginia, USA. I highly, highly encourage you to go if you have any interest at all in science, beautiful landscapes, geography, technology, history. Oh, beautiful place, wonderful place, fascinating place. Still making discoveries to this day. Thanks. Get out there and explore. Earth, what's not to love?